Hello, and welcome to Daily Devotions from English Lutheran Church on Monday, Thursday, April 9th. Our texts for these reflections during this Holy Week are coming from the story of Jesus' passion. And today we go to Gethsemane, the Garden of Gethsemane, and we're reading from Matthew, the 26th chapter. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little further, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. And then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So, could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial, for the spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. And then he went away for a second time and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up and let's be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Here ends our gospel. So after the Passover meal had been eaten, Jesus and his disciples, all except Judas, who was on his way to get soldiers to come arrest him, they went to the Garden of Gethsemane, which is a garden outside Jerusalem and is filled with olive trees. And what I appreciate is how Jesus fell to the ground. He actually laid on the ground to commune with God and to find comfort. Because Jesus knew that his crucifixion laid ahead of him and he was in agony. So Jesus prayed and poured out his heart to God. Now some of you may know the agony that Jesus faced on this night. The loneliness to be devastated, anxious, abandoned, or even facing death. And during times like this, you may wonder, where is God? And just as God was with Jesus that night in the garden, God is with you through your trials and your suffering. And during this time of social distancing, we may feel alone. Our challenges and our agonies may overwhelm us. We may get angry. We may cry. But God is always with you. So when Jesus left the garden that night, he knew the cross was still ahead of him, but he was strengthened knowing that God was with him. I hope that during this time of so many unknowns and stress that you are able to connect with God in prayer and to be strengthened knowing that God is with you no matter where your path may lead. Let us pray. Merciful God, in the stillness of our souls, we listen for your voice to know again that you are our God. Quiet our restless hearts with the knowledge that you are near us, keeping watch over your own. Rekindle our faith and light the lamp of hope within our hearts, and then take us by the hand into each day that lies ahead. For where you lead, we can confidently go with Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So tonight is Monday Thursday service at Our Savior's Lutheran. That's at 6.30 p.m. And it will be um, live streamed at OurSavior'sLutheran.net or you can also find the link on our website. 
And then tomorrow night is Good Friday. There, too, uh, will also be a service at 6.30 p.m. at Our Saviors, and that's going to be with Good Shepherd, us, and, of course, Our Saviors. Right. So now God bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen. Amen.